I'm right-handed, my left hand goes under the saddle, right hand on the top two, lift the rider up, allow them to set, and then I put them back down. Now, basically, I encourage you to use your left foot, and I'm assuming most of you probably know why, because left, if anything, you're going down track. If you start with the right foot, sometimes you might go up track. You're better off going down track than up track on the start. Um, quite often, I see the, the leading pe the front pedal too high. Um, my general rule of thumb is the pedal axle about where the chain is, the bottom of the chain. Um, and again, you don't want it too high because actually, where is your body? You know, when you're actually going, your body's quite forward. If you crank arms too high, then actually you're not getting optimal lead leverage. Um, so around there, I'd say is, is a good is, is a good start. You know, if you want to move it slightly, I mean, we, I had Craig McLean at the track for a week or so with a slow camera, a slow thingy camera, and, you know, and they tried to get all technical about it. And didn't learn anything, basically. <laughs> so basically, you know, I've set Jack up. Basically, I, I basically rest the inside of his tie with the inside of my leg just to give a bit of extra support. You know, quite often I'll see riders and their bodies that, you know, they're trying to basically, you know, balance. Just communicate with the coach and say left a bit, right a bit, and basically what you want to see, which I am seeing right now, is Jack is beautifully in line, everything's nice and straight. You want everything nice and straight before you're even going. If you're crooked when you're on the bike, like your ass is maybe one side of the saddle, you're going to get all squirrely coming off the line. So you want to be nice and symmetrical on the start. And again, nice, Jack is nice and relaxed and composed. I'm going to give him a five second countdown. And then his, his vision, again, his vision is looking forward. He's not looking down. I want him looking forward into the turn. Pick a point if you want. You can imagine that brick wall, whatever you want on the start line. Again, don't overthink it and try not to think too much about your timing. And that's it. So Jack's going to, on two or so, or one or two, whenever he wants, he's going to stand up and back. His front leg is going to be pretty straight, but not, not dead straight. Um, we'll just demonstrate it. Okay, you ready? Okay, five, four, three, two, one, go! Nice, tight upper body, arms straight.